Hey everyone, it's Lisa and I have a very fun video for us today. I am going to tell you exactly what I use and what I do for my summer hair. I've told you before, in the summer I like to give my hair a break and not use any heat, meaning not using any styling tools and not using a hair dryer. Then when it, you know, gets dark early and I don't have the opportunity to let it dry like I do now, which I will go over. Then I get back to curling it and then I feel like it doesn't damage it as much. It gives it a great opportunity to strengthen back up. It gives it opportunity to grow. And during the summer here where I live, we have like 80% humidity. So really, there's no sense in me trying to do a style anyway. So today I'm partnering with Ulta Beauty and their new arrivals and new sales with their Summer of Hair Love. In the shower, of course, shampoo and conditioner. One that I have loved forever. Like if you've been here with me on YouTube, this is no surprise, the Purology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. And right now, these big liters are 15% off, and then they have these. I don't know what it is about a pump. If I have a shampoo with a pump like that, that's the first one I want to go to. But these are $3. So I am currently finishing up some small bottles. Brooke also uses that when she came home. She got my other ones. I bought new ones. And then yesterday, I just bought these since they were on sale. But this has saved, this and something else I'm gonna show you has saved my hair so many times. I think when I first started going to Morgan, which was probably seven or eight years ago, I was in a bad place. I had gotten just burnt up. My hair had snapped off. I was, in such a bad place that I remember I went for a consultation blowout and she said she wasn't gonna be able to do any highlights for a little while until we worked on my hair. This is what she suggested, was the hydrate shampoo and conditioner. They do have a sheer version if you feel like this is too much for your hair, but I have always enjoyed just the regular. So I shampoo twice, and then I condition with that. It smells, smells so good. It smells invigorating, spa-like, and I feel like it's good for your scalp. This is something else that I have used for years and years and years. This is the Lanza Healing Color Care Trauma Treatment. Provide vibrant, longer lasting color, ultra healing formula, restore health to over processed hair. Even smelling this makes me feel better. I don't know, I think it just is part of it. But I want to tell you a little secret about this. It says, apply to towel dried hair, leave in for continuous healing action. Style as desired, use as often as needed to heal traumatized hair. So it's nothing that's going to make your hair crispy or anything. Morgan even uses this when she does my hair, especially with me having like these money pieces in the front. We've been really protective of those. This is my secret. I talked to a girl who is a Lanza trainer and she said the best way to use this is in the shower. After you have shampooed and conditioned, you know, you rinse your hair and right when it is, you haven't squeezed it out and it's still full of that warm water, what I do is I take about, here I'll show you about how much I take for my hair, but I have long hair. I take about that much and I rub it in my hands and then I, first I put it through the ponytail. Then I put it through my sides because you know how the sides are always more fragile. It's almost like a different texture in my hair. And then I, because my hair is back, I kind of grab up these pieces and I run it through that and I work it all in my hair. Then I, last night I counted so I could tell you, I rinse it out once squeeze it a little bit, I rinse it and kind of do like this so it's like going all over my hair and then I squeeze it. Sometimes I will stop then, but sometimes I will do it one more time. So it's two to three times. Then I squeeze it out, squeeze it out. I have a turby twist type towel already hanging. I flip my hair upside down and I take my big towel first and kind of squeeze out the hair. So what I'm trying to do is enhance my natural texture. If I were to try to let it dry natural and have it straight 
it's not going to happen. My best method for the summer love hair is letting it just keep whatever texture. And I've told you, it's a, it's a gamble. You never know what you're going to get the next day, but I'm going to show you how to work with that. Then after I have squeezed most of the water out of it, I put it in a Turby Twist microfiber towel and I usually wait about at least 15 minutes and let the bulk of the water get out of it. Then I take it down from the towel and keep in mind it's already got the trauma treatment in it, which does not make it oily. It's not really like a styling treatment. It's just to help your hair heal. This is what I used after I got that devastating keratin treatment one time and my hair was just like snapping off everywhere. It probably wasn't that. It was probably that my hair was so fried that when they did the flat iron, who knows? It had been just so over processed. This is what brought it back. First thing I do when I get out of the shower is I take some type of oil, usually a thick, good oil, and put it on the ends of my hair. I have been using this, and then when I read the back, I think this is actually made to do a pre-treatment, but it's the Bondi Boost hair oil, and it says to put on your hair before the shower. I have been using it on the ends, but I've been loving it. it, smells so good. But I will use just any type of thick oil on the ends. Then uh, that is when I go in with the styling spray or mousse or cream or whatever I use. Lately, what I have been loving and I wanted to tell you guys about is the, one of you guys told me about it. Where is it? It's this. This is what I've been using for the past I would say three to four videos. It's the Kristen S. Sea Salt Air Dry Mousse. Wave encouraging, texture building, non-sticky, time-saving, light hold. I take about two pumps of this, and what I've been doing is trying to strategically place it where I know I want that lift and I want to encourage the curls. I don't have to encourage this that much because it's just, naturally curlier, but these heavier pieces on the top, I have to encourage a little bit more. So that's something, mm -hmm. but if you don't like mousse, which I understand, sometimes I like to use a kind of like a cream. A new one that they just got that I've been loving is the Olaplex Bond Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. Um, this smooths and protects and protects manageability. So it isn't a curl enhancer, but it does keep your hair from being quite as frizzy. So that's something, I know a lot of people are scared their hair is gonna get crunchy with a mousse. This is something I have enjoyed. I've tried it, I've used it probably about three times. I have liked it, and I know a lot of you really love the Olaplex. Okay, going back to before my shower, I forgot to say this, something I always do is completely brush out my hair with this old nappy looking Olivia Garden brush. This is the gold anniversary edition. I'm not sure if they still have that, but I completely brush out my hair, starting at the bottom, working up, and then I always think about my mom saying, the natural oils in your hair is the best thing you can do. It's like when she would get us to cut the grass and she would say, it's good for you to sweat. It's good for your skin. <laughs> So I just really, as soon as I get all the knots out, I really just get those oils going everywhere and I will switch, you know, and go over this way and really, I feel like it's good for your scalp to kind of stimulate your scalp. That way I don't have to brush it out afterwards and I don't have to do it in the shower. I know some people prefer to comb it out in the shower. That's just... I don't like doing that. I just, it's not as easy for me and it, I just feel like I don't get the same benefits with my scalp and stuff. So this is my favorite brush for that. And then if I do brush out my hair, I think in my Q and A video, I had brushed out my hair and then I had used something else I'm getting ready to show you. I will use this. It is the wet brush paddle style. I love it, I love it. I have tried every, other tangle teaser, everything else, I always come back to this. So wet hair, dry hair. If I brush out my hair, I will still 
kind of scrunch it up but sometimes i just don't i don't know i just want a little bit of a sleeker style not quite as out there one thing i have used is this the it's a 10 blow dry miracle glossing leave-in i am a lover of it's a 10. i remember using this before it was in any stores and you had to order it from their website i love any type of blow dry spray a lot of times because it'll help your hair dry i'm not sure about this one but a lot of them do uh, glossy shine thermal protection detangles nourishes helps replace lost proteins help reduce frizz natural uv protection adds softness that's the main reason enhances natural hair body helps prevent split ends well yesterday when i was in there this sale like with the leaders and stuff it just started the 26th and then it goes through july 16th Okay, so when I was in there, I saw this one. It is the It's a 10 Coily. I never know if my hair is curly enough for curl products, but I thought I would give it a try. It's the Miracle Leave-In product. Okay, this one is lightweight for curly or straight styles, defrizzes, tames flyaways, defines curls, fortifies, protects, improves ease of combing, moisturizes, enhances body, manages natural volume, helps reduce breakage, non-greasy. So I will try this soon and let you know, but I feel very good about It's a 10 products. Then something else I've been using for a while, you can see this one has the squeeze dent in it. This must be the conditioner, yeah. Is the Andrew Fitzsimmons Prism Shine Glossy Shampoo and Glossy Conditioner. Isn't this just the prettiest set of bottles here? I love it. This smells so good. It smells like perfume. So if you aren't into good smelling shampoos and conditioners or perfumey, you won't like this. And I kept thinking, what does this remind me of? It either reminds me of like a strawberry children's type shampoo and conditioner or the old, I need to get another bottle of this because I loved this, the Ed Hardy fragrance that had that big lid on it that smells so good fruity but yet it had still had some oomph to it that's what these smell like so i have really been enjoying these and these are a lower price point something great for you to try something else i have told you over and over again about is the bumble and bumble at curl activator this is what i use if like right up here didn't quite get curly enough i'm just going to do one spray because you do have to kind of wait for it to dry. But if this didn't get curly enough, or if I've brushed out my hair and want to revive the curls, I have never used anything this good. I've gone through two of the little bottles and went ahead and sprung for the big one. Something I got and I have not tried yet is the Brio Geo Superfoods Banana and Coconut Soft Wave Texture Spray. So if you have tried this, let me know what you think. This is something I have used this is the IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Air Dry Styler. This I need to experiment with in the shower, kind of like the Lanza tra Trauma Treatment because it is a thick consistency. And I'm thinking the same thing that helps with the Trauma Treatment would probably help with this. So I will let you know when I try it but it's, I mean, it is thick. It's hard to spread on my hair. Another thing you could do with it, and I've done this before too, is mix it with your hair oil, but then that would keep me from being able to put it at the top as much because even though my hair is fried, dyed, laid to the side, it is naturally kind of oily. That is something that I have only tried twice and I didn't care for it only because it just kind of stuck where I put it and didn't spread out well, but I want to try it in the shower. This is something else new I just got yesterday and it is the Way Air Dry Foam. And let me know if you have tried this and what you think about it, but I know that most of her products are really good. I thought today I would show you how I do my ponytail because I have a lot of people ask that and it is a great option when your hair is like mine and maybe you don't want it just hanging like this, being all crazy looking. So I'm gonna show you what I use to do that ponytail. This is something, the Joyco Weekend Hair Dry Shampoo, a very good, all around dry shampoo. I would not say 
I use this for like really cleaning my hair, but this gives good volume. And a lot of times I would rather use a dry shampoo than a like styling product because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's a win-win. And I usually hold my hair up like this and let it dry. And then I will, this, something about this reminds me of my childhood. And the only thing I could think of is it has a slight smell like similar to a deodorant, like a spray deodorant. I don't know if I've used one in the past. Okay, so you get plenty of volume. And then I'll usually go up under here and see whether my hair is more fine and flat. The, um, if you wanted like really mega volume and you really had dirty hair, I like the IGK like flight. I can't remember the charcoal one. And I also like the Bumble and Bumble. Their white hair powder. That's one I've used for a long time. Okay, so here would be just my simple style for the day, like coming on here to do a video. But if I wanted to do a ponytail, I've never done it in like this little small mirror, but we're gonna try it. These I got from Ulta Beauty, and one of them is, I can't remember the name of them, but I know one of them is for thicker hair, one of them is for thinner hair. I think I got the thinner ones when I was just doing my front part up, which is something else you could do and it would be really pretty. But for my ponytail, what I do to get it so volumey and you know, I, I like it that way. I kind of, um, I don't comb it. So what I do is I try to work against what it's doing already. So I know I can work against that side of the part and then I just kind of gather it up and I use that um, part right there. And I'm almost, you almost don't wanna mess with it at all. Sometimes I mess with it like this too much and I have to mess it up again because you don't want it too perfect. You want to keep that messiness. And I do, anyway, for my ponytail. Okay, so I just make sure there's no like huge loop hanging out, but I don't care if like it looks like that at all. Here, let me grab this hair a little tighter. And then these just stay in. Of course, they're in different colors. And there's all kinds of, if you're watching and your hair isn't like mine, there was all kinds of new products and things on sale, including other versions. There was like a smooth Pureology in the leaders, all kinds of new products. The whole front of the store was full. Okay, see, I'm, I'm really messing up here by messing with it too much, but I want to do a good job. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out and pull this out a little bit. Okay, so I get it all like that and I do it three times. Like that. And I just, oh. okay, I'm gonna have to do it over. This does not usually happen. I think it's because I'm using a little small makeup mirror and it's hard for me, or I might be nervous doing it in front of you. Okay, but I want those curls to show. Okay, I wanna look like I didn't even look in a mirror. I just put it straight up and didn't even care. That's what summer hair is all about. Okay. Of course you could leave it, and there's a million styles you could do, but, and then, I like it because the rest of my hair just is, you know, sectiony. It's got the curled ends. I don't really have to worry about it. And even my ponytail has more volume because, you know, we didn't brush it and all of that stuff. Okay, so here is the top of my ponytail. This is a little tip that I do sometimes. Sometimes I don't care. Sometimes if it's bad enough, I will use this Wow 
I have had this a long time. It's the Dark Blonde Wow Root Cover-Up. And I will take this brush and just kind of um, go in there where it's like a big, you know, oh, I did too much right there. Yeah, where it's like a big either gray hair or like a big, mostly just like any big holes in my hair like that. Okay, like on this side, I could do up in here a little bit. My hair has always been shaped like this, even when I was a kid. Okay, those hairs are like gray and blonde. And any little spots like that. And it just gives it a little bit of a better look. And like I said, I've had this a long time. I love it. That would be my summer ponytail. And I'm trying to think of anything else. Hairspray. I don't use a lot of hairspray. I don't even have one in my, this is kind of like my latest rotation. Something I bought and I have not used yet because I've been loving this and I've got my Pureology in the shower, but I did purchase the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Ghost Conditioner. So if you have tried this, let me know what you think. I just kind of wanted to use what I had just long enough to be able to tell you and not do so many different things, but I'm looking forward to trying this. It says protect, detangle, soften for the conditioner, and then the weightless color safe cleanse for the shampoo. The manager there said this was supposed to be really good, that they sell a lot of it. Oh yeah, okay, so this is weightlessly cleanses fine hair, protects color and leaves hair tangle free with moringa oil, infuses hair shaft, da -da -da -da, nutrients. So yeah, I will let you know about this. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you will visit Ulta Beauty and their summer hair love event and maybe try some new things. That, I, you guys know, I'm a hair junkie. And in the summer, it's fun. It's fun to kind of play with the different things like that and not worry. I, I feel like in the winter, I, I do more heat protectant and stuff like that. My outfit of the day, it's my dress and my shoes are old, but I'll show you. Okay, so I just got a dress on from last year or the year before. And if you guys remember these shoes that I bought last year, I have them in pink and black and they're not available anymore, but this is, I don't know, I love this dress. You know I love like roughly straps and stuff like that. Okay, thank you to Ulta Beauty for partnering with me. I had so much fun with this. And thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.